Hey guys, welcome back to BNC RC. Little mail call. I used to do these now and then, but it seemed like I was doing them all the time, and I just feel like oh, I'm just showing off my shit. So I stopped doing it. I don't want to be that guy. Well, today I want to be that guy. I got a bunch of stuff my mailman must have delivered with a fucking wheelbarrow. And <laughs> stuff from all over for all different things. Uh, that package was from Hobby Racing, or Hobby. Recreation products, steering knuckles for that sand monster truck. Not too exciting, just stuff I needed. It's cool they got here pretty quick, faster than their rigs do, which is a little puzzling. I never got shit from them in two or three days before. Um, oh, that's what it is. Big padded envelope. G and H. I don't even know where that's from. Go Nitro Hobbies. That is the chrome grill options for the Outlaw Rampage Pro. Thought I might want to put them on there and some chrome wheels just to make it look a little bit more like the kit version, which I understand is pretty much impossible to get now. Oh, what's next? A box here. Pretty light box. I think they sent me an empty. From Zabula Tech. An eBay seller. They're pretty quickly turning into one of my favorite eBay sellers. They specialize in kind of hard to find Lexan bodies. I ordered this Saturday morning, just on a whim, decided I ought to have one. And, uh, ordered it Saturday morning. It's now Monday afternoon, and here it is in my possession already. That's unbelievable. That is an associated T2 body. New replacement for that T2 I got off eBay a little while back. I don't think I ever showed that on the channel. But the body on it used to be on a gas truck, so the windows are all cut out. It's hacked up and body post holes are fucked up. I wanted to put a new body on that and do a little vintage project. So we got that. <sighs> Last but not least. Definitely not the, the least. This one is probably going to give me the COVID-19. This is straight from Hong Kong. When I ordered it, the seller messaged me back the very next day and said, Hong Kong mail is suspended right now. You want cancel order. No, I don't want to cancel it. Just send it when you can. Don't forget to send it. And uh, next day he replied back again. Might be 60, 90 days. Uh, uh, I thought it over. Ah, fuck it. You know what? Send it when you can. I'll forget about it. It wasn't an expensive car. It'll be a nice surprise in the middle of summer. That was two weeks ago. Here it is. It was delayed longer in New York State than it was in China. Just one of them weird things that I thought I ought to have. I wanted a Tamiya, Tamiya that didn't have all that Tamiya weirdness. I wanted like a standard type of a rig from them just to put together. I don't know. I just felt like I wanted one. I don't know if you can see that down in the bottom corner. It's a DT-03 Chrome Edition. Chrome Metallic Racing Fighter. That's a good looking box art. To me a weirdness or not. That's neat. Oh man, that is kind of neat. When they say chrome, they ain't kidding. There's chrome wing. And there's the entire body is chrome. The wheels are chrome. The tires are not chrome. I'm kind of looking forward to this building. This one came with the speed control and the motor. All you need is the servo and radio equipment. Straight out of Hong Kong in the middle of the COVID madness with absolutely pretty much no delay. I can't believe it. I'm glad I didn't let that guy talk me into canceling the order. And looking at these parts, I don't think I succeeded in finding one that wasn't full of Tamiya weirdness. There's the plastic gears. Oh boy. I wonder if they make metal ones for them. I mean, it'd probably just be a shelf queen anyways with that chrome special edition. I probably should have left it cool, but it wasn't sealed in plastic, which I thought was kind of odd. The transmission looks like standard sort of stuff. Uh, I guess that's it. I'm not really doing any review or anything on this. It's actually got normal A-arms. That's good to see. 
It's a little bit closer to your normal stuff. Why is there extra A arms? That's odd. Maybe it's a double A arm front suspension. Maybe that's what it was. That's it. I'll keep you posted. Probably over on Facebook to build and the final build pictures when I'm done with them. That's it. I'm out of here. I've had all the fucking fun I could handle for one day. Bye bye. I gotta clean this goddamn mess up.